20 years ago today, one of the worst attacks that the state of Israel has known happened here. The suicide bombing of the Maxim restaurant in Haifa. On Saturday, October 4th, 2003, in the midst of the Second Intifada, the Maxim restaurant was as crowded as ever. At 2.10 p.m., a Palestinian suicide bomber entered the restaurant with an explosive build on her body, sat in the restaurant, ate, and then blew herself up. A serious attack with devastating consequences. 21 murdered, dozens injured. The Maxim restaurant was a symbol of partnership. The restaurant is jointly owned by Jews and Arabs. The workers in the restaurant and the guests were Jews and Arabs. Among the victims of the attack were both tragically murdered together by a Palestinian terrorist. Also, among the victims were three generations of not one, but two Israeli families, the al Mok family and the Zar Aviv family. Personally, this attack changed my life because that Maxim restaurant was my family's to-go restaurant. Only two days before the attack, my parents were sitting there. If they had sat there on the day of the attack, I would have become an orphan. I was 18 years old, a month and a half before my military enlistment date. This attack in which Jews and Arabs were murdered together made me realize that my decision to volunteer for the IDF as a fighter and defend the country was the right thing to do. The result of this attack were painful and difficult, but terrorism did not win. The Maxim restaurant was restored and reopened only three months later. To this day, it continues to be a symbol of Jewish-Arab partnership for 60 years and is also an example of how Palestinian terrorism harms Jews and Arabs in Israel. But let me be clear. We will not be defeated by terror.